Well, a big event coming up this weekend at Wing Deer Park in Johnson City. The third annual auto show will be held Sunday. It is a very special event held to honor the memory of two people by raising money to help others. Here with more now is Rachel Holmes. And Rachel, it is great to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course, a very familiar face, local business owner, <laughs> incredible bakery. Thank but you. you came up with this idea a couple of years ago after mm -hmm. a, a, an incredibly difficult family year. Yes, yeah. So 2021, we lost both my sister and my dad within just three short months of each other, both in um, October and December. And so it was just kind of that following year. It was just kind of a period for us to kind of of healing, of course. And so one thing that I think helped us just in that process was, well, let's do something to give back to our community and to bring honor to them. And so this was the perfect opportunity. And a car show. Mm -hmm. You said this was something yes. that, that that they loved. Yeah. That your your dad loved. Yes. Yeah. Auto show. So. Oh yeah. Can be all any, the things. Anything. That's right. Yeah. Bring it. We'll take it. Um, he was just so immersed in that world, and he always had muscle cars himself, um, and so it was just a no-brainer. And all his friends, you know, come out, and it's just it's emotional sometimes, but it's fun just to kind of hear all the stories and lives he impacted, and then of course, you know, being able to donate and bring memory to Holly as well to any kind of local organization is great. Yeah, you said she enjoyed giving back to her mm -hmm. community and supporting her community in so many ways. And so this year, I understand the Isaiah 117 house. Yes, yeah, very exciting. So they provide just, you know, a safe place for kids um, waiting in that weird transition period of waiting for replacement. Um, and so every year, me and my sisters and my mom kind of get together and look and see what local organization we want to get back to. And that was one at the top of the list that we've been looking at. Um, so it's just super exciting to be able to do that just for our community. And over the last couple of years, you've been able to donate a lot of money to some different charities. Yeah, yeah, we keep growing. You know, the first year we donated to um, Families Free, and we had about over 40 cars for our first year. And then last year was Agape Women's Services, and we had almost 80. So wow. this year, we're really hoping to kind of drive it home with even bigger. That is wonderful. And looking at some of the pictures from mm -hmm. last year, you got, yes, all kinds of different <laughs> autos. Yes, yeah, for sure. We'll take anything. <laughs> and you do some different awards, some judging as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this year uh, we're doing a few less trophies. So this year we're doing best in show, first, second, third. And then we're really focusing on our raffles this year. So we have some amazing raffles that local businesses have donated. Um, we have like a cleaning service that's donated. We have a 200 to $300 um, window tent that someone's donated um, and we have a, all on our Facebook page just a shout out to those businesses so any kind of love that you can support to them too is always great. That is wonderful and I love the trophy. Yeah. Yes, it's very yes. different. It's yeah. very unique. Nice Our, uh, sculpture. My neighbor actually made him and he's just so talented so they all kind of look like this and they're just so fun. That's very cool. Yeah. I'm seeing some different car parts yes. here. <laughs> I can't identify exactly what they are, but yes. I know they're important. They're all from our garage. I bet Chris is over there like, I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't really tell you either. So <laughs> what does this event, seeing it happen every year and the family come together? Because I've heard so many times over and over that that auto show community is such a family and yeah. knowing your dad's involvement. You mentioned that it, it's kind of emotional. Mm -hmm. Is it also therapeutic? It is. I I think so. I think, you know, throughout the year, you go through your daily lives, whether we have families and everything with kids and all that stuff. And I think coming together that one time of the year and just being like, wow, you know, you see start, you see those cars start coming in. I'm panicking like the first 30 minutes, like no one's going to show up. And then you see all those cars come in and you think they're coming to support our family. They're coming to support whatever charity we've decided to give back to. And it's just a beautiful thing. And it's just, you know, being able to do that in, in their honor is, is huge. I think it's wonderful what you've done to sort of turn that awful, tragic year into yep. something positive for the community. Thank you. We're going to give everybody some information. It is the auto show. Lots of different <laughs> vehicles for you to see. It is coming up Sunday. It's going to start about 4 o'clock in the afternoon right there at Wing Deer Park in Johnson City. As she said, for more information and for some of those auction items, you can scan that QR code. You can also check out their Facebook page.